What is up guys, it is Fake Hero, and I'm a bit tired, so let's hope that these card reveals are a bit, a bit spooky. Wake me up a bit. Let's get it. I am let's go Nocturne. Shroud of Darkness at burst speed. The next time you summon an ally this round, give it a plus one and spell shield this round. The next time you summon an ally, that's cool. This is very interesting. It's a lot of value in a cheap spell that just relies kind of combos along with the whole knife or mechanic. Okay, let's see it. Let's see it. Boom. Let's go Nocturne. New keyword Nightfall. We know this one. Four mana, five, three with fearsome Nightfall. Grant an enemy vulnerable and give enemies minus one this round. To level up, you've attacked with five plus Nightfall allies. So already this pushes for you to build a Nightfall deck. This seems kind of strong. With Fearsome in its kit, which makes a lot of sense for Nocturne's Law, granting Vulnerable plus minus one to all enemies this round, it can help you to really set up favorable trades and pushing damage. It's a pretty interesting stat line though, for sure. We're getting like a good, vari good, good various amount of new stat lines we haven't seen yet. So this is pretty cool. I think we have seen this, but not often. All right, let's see it in action. Let's see it in action. Wait, is there any new cards here? Oh, we're leveling up. We're leveling up. That's Pog. Uh, four minus six, four. Other allies have fearsome. When you play a unit, give enemies minus one this round. Is that every time you play a unit? Because if that's every time you play a unit, and you're going fearsome with your whole board. We're going to start to see some spooky fearsome Shadow Isle decks. Let's go. I assume it's for every time you play an ally. Unironically, so that five mana fearsome card that I kind of shat on yesterday gets a lot better now. Unspeakable horror at fast speed. I wonder if this is Nocturne spell. Drain one from anything, nightfall, create a random nightfall card in hand. It's a lot of value in one card. It's a vile feast that creates, generates a nightfall unit in hand. This is a good card. And oftentimes you don't always play Vile Feast. It's like, it's not hard to Nightfall this card out, but it's not like playing Vile Feast with two mana. It's not the same as that though. It's like a turn two Vile Feast in comparison. Whoa, what's that? Now this is an archetype. I'm keen to mess with. Nocturne literally is like one of my favorite champs alongside Bard and a few others. That's hypey, man. Let's let's go, man. I'm gonna jump across, bring up the uh, overlay right now. All right, let's get into it. I will firstly say, Nocturne seems like it could be really strong. Actual fearsome archetype inbound. That could be punishing. Like this could be like the new kind of go-to aggro for sure. Let's go through the cards. So we already saw Nocturne there. We saw Nocturne's Unspeakable Horror. That's a good card. The new cards we have here is Rise and Mist, a four mana burst spell that summons a Mist Wraith. Okay, it's another it's another Mist Wraith activator, but God damn, is that expensive? But the interesting thing with the Risen's um, Risen Mist guys on the bottom right is that this is a burst speed spell, like Jury Rig, except it's summoning a God damn, Mist Wraith. Like out of nowhere, you can play a buffed up Mist Wraith as well. Like let's say you drop a four mana Mist Wraith out of nowhere sometimes. Wow. You can also do it like preparing for an open attack. This looks like it's bad, but it might actually be good. But we will have to wait and see, won't we? We also have this two mana Stalking Shadow Burst Speed spell. Lots of burst speed stuff happening. Pick a follower from the top four cards in your deck, draw it, shuffle the rest into deck, then create an ephemeral copy in hand. Ooh. That's a that's a little crazy. You oftentimes hit something off the top. And it's not even fleeting, guys. You're gonna draw that card for two mana 
and you're going to have some decent choices sometimes depending on how you build this deck and you're going to get an ephemeral copy in hand <laughs> not gonna lie that seems a little bonkers like whether or not you're even running a nocturne deck this card in general for shadow isles in general seems bonkers whole <laughs> all right all right uh, we'll, we'll wait and see though we'll play with the cards when the expansion comes out but i'm gonna be honest guy think about it two mana draw two sometimes there's a lot of cute things you can do with the ephemeral copy as well you can just do ridiculous oh my oh <laughs> okay so it's a follower right so we can't hit nocturne sorry still seems kind of crazy like this might replace Glimpse Beyond in some future Shadow Wild decks, depending on how they want to build. You've got new options now, so that's really cool for card draw because you only had Glimpse Beyond, literally. Uh, Nocturne's Unspeakable Horror seems like a very cute uh, Nocturne champion spell. The ability to Nightfall and create another Nightfall card in hand is good for generating value. And that's like what some of these aggro decks are missing. They're kind of like the ability to keep their hand up to pace with the opponents. Aggro decks that can maintain a hand size tend to be extremely oppressive, which is kind of why I look at cards like Augmented Experimenter being super, super crazy. And that's a six mana card. Nocturne in general, if we look through the collection of cards, it kind of like rewards you for playing Mist Wraith now, because you get the Risen Spirits for a new activator. So you can go full Shadow Isles, Allegiance, and just play a crazy, crazy mid-range deck. Like, we've already seen, like, decent Shadow Isle Allegiance decks that kind of run the, um, you know, the Mist Wraith package here and there. And they generally do pick up decent win rates, and they're really good for climbing through the ladder, especially from earlier ranks up until Masters. Uh, maybe argument to, with argument to Diamond. And now you're getting a lot more tools for that kind of archetype. Nocturne seems like a great addition to the collection of cards for building aggressive Shadow Isle decks. Like oftentimes you're kind of like jumping between Callista, Elise and dipping into other regions for aggressive tools. Now you get a lot more rewarded for staying just in Shadow Isles. I think Nocturne seems really strong, but when you play him on turn four, he can oftentimes be dealt with. But at least once, if you Nightfall him out, you'll grant en enemies uh, one enemy vulnerable and minus one for the rest of this round. So you've attacked with 5 plus Nightfall allies. You don't even need to have Nocturne on the field. He can sometimes flip before he even comes down. And this makes like that one mana card a little bit more crazy. Especially with the ability to Stalking Shadows on certain turns. Yeah, this is really exciting stuff. This is, uh, I think this the Nocturne in general right now is probably the card I am the most excited for. So there we go, guys. Uh, you know what to do. Jump down in the comments, let's discuss the cards before I pass out because I'm super tired, it's 2am. Um, let me know your thoughts, don't forget to leave a like. And if you're new here, subscribe, come back, check out some cool Runeterra videos. It's been a blast, thank you again so much for all the support, you guys have been going absolutely wild uh, over the past few videos, so it's been a lot of fun, I look forward to the future, I will see you guys tomorrow.